Preston, obviously a very popular man here in Kenya. Another local man making very good indeed is Mike Kirkland. He'd also come up with a rather unusual problem. Every time he put his foot on the brakes, and this didn't really bother him until it became night, the lights went out. After the mechanics traced the problems to a faulty alternator, he'd lost 27 minutes. Still, he was in seventh place and going very well. Bjorn Valdegard was in eighth, the man who'd led the rally as they'd left Nairobi at the start of the second leg, having all sorts of problems. When his rear damper had broken, he'd lost a total of 59 minutes. Well, you get all sorts of people on the special stage, including ones who are not quite sure if they should go to the right or to the left. Best to keep out the way. By the time the cars reach the Kakamega golf course, Ambrosino is in ninth place. And this will be the last time that we see Attilio Bettiga. After the next time control, Bettiger's engine in the Lancia blows up in the biggest possible way, and Lancia's challenge in the 1985 Safari is down to just one car, that of Vic Preston Jr. Helicopters are used in abundance by all the major teams, although the Toyota team don't have a helicopter whatsoever. Peugeot, Lancia and Audi all have their helicopters following their cars. In fact, in the case of the Audi team, they brought their helicopter all the way down from West Germany. Salonen is busy making up time, both the Peugeot still running and Salonen up to 10th place. The man who leads the World Drivers' Championship, knowing full well that he could take advantage of points scored anywhere in the top 10 on this safari rally. Chase cars that are almost identical looking to the rally cars play a very important role on this event. They're obviously there for servicing their cars. These cars can in fact be cannibalized in order to keep the rally cars going. Pace cars, on the other hand, head in front of their rally cars to clear the way of spectators, something that is very necessary on the safari rally, particularly if you're leading the event. Indeed, Weber got his experience for this year's event driving the pace car in 1984. 